Welcome everyone! In this video, we are in this video, we're gonna cover virtual reality and how to design your own shoes. It's gonna be a blast. This is part of our Maker Fair project where after we design the shoe, then we're gonna 3D print it. So stay tuned for other videos on how to do that. So I'm using the program called Oculus Medium. It comes with the Oculus Rift. If you have an HTC Vive or a Windows Mixed Reality, you can also get this to work. It's called Revive. If you want some more information, comment on the video and I can do another tutorial on that. In this video, let's jump in and design our own flippy flop. Okay, so here we are. Welcome to virtual reality. So the couple tools I like to use, the first one is called clay. And this helps you model. So you can draw anything you want. You can go in small, you can go in large, make this extremely large. And go in with quite some detail. Let's bring it closer. Bring it in close, and then you can get fine detail from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our own sandal from this. I have already started one, but what we can do, let me show you a trick first that you might be interested, is you can use a reference mesh. So for example, you can import your own model here. As you can see, this is a 3D model I got off the internet, and I tried to do something very similar to it. So that's what that looks like. So you can do that to start. Then the next one I did was I opened my own, or I started brand new, my own sample. So here it is. One thing I did was, as you can see, this box around here is a grid, and I started sculpting it right on the bottom of the grid. That way I could get a flat surface. And then the other thing you need to do is make sure your dimensions, your width, and your length. I don't really have a good trick for you on how to do that, but if you do, let me know. Another thing that's fun to use in this tool is called the Capture. You can record the VR session within the VR playback, or you record a video, which we're going to do, and this records it to share later. And you can put this out for your friends to watch. So what I did, let me show you some of the tools that I used. We'll just, this took me about 45 minutes. So let's move it around. Uh, okay, the other tool that I used was called the flatten. So we can make this bigger. Let's turn it around. And just resize that. Try to get this. You can tell it's precise, but given it's so precise, it would take a long time to perfect it. So I'm not going for perfection on this one. I am just going, I am just getting a sandal that I can print a miniature model. And then if the dimensions and the design is the way I like it, then I will go back and improve upon it. So you can see here, let's go inside the pocket here. All right, so see how large we can get. Now, see, let's bring it down. So we're inside of, this is where I plan to put the LEDs. So I'll show you here. I'm gonna have this little strip and then the LEDs will go right in, or the Neo pixels will go right inside here. So, created a pocket here. We're going to test this out as a design. So yeah, that's that's kind of all I did. I just sculpted, did a flat surface, did the top here, and just kind of winged it. Where I didn't like it, I filled it in. Like this. 
and then where I needed to just kind of smooth it out a little bit. There are other tools out here that are interesting, like the smooth. That will smooth it out if there are any buffs there. The, uh, the move is a good one. This helps you, you can make this small or big. Kind of distorts it a little bit. Then you can undo the feature left, right. Yeah, so that's about it. It's pretty simple to do. So let's export this. So we'll do a file. First we'll save it. Then we'll file export. We'll have OBJ file, export. Then we'll come over here, pick our directory. We're gonna go pick the name. And export. And I already have a copy, so we'll say yes. So that's all there is to designing your own shoe and virtual reality. Next, I'll show you how to convert an OBJ file to an STL file so your 3D printer can print it. And then we'll check it out. We'll check out a prototype. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is download an application called Blender. It's for free. What I do is change the settings, 3ds Max, and then I hit X and I delete this. Then what you're going to want to do is file import and choose the OBJ file that we exported from Oculus Medium. So I have it here in my downloads and I called it V3. So we're going to import that. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, not exactly on the grid. You can go up here and rotate and move it around and get it squared up if you want. For now, I'm just gonna show you how to export. So file export, we're gonna change it to STL. That way we can get it on our printer. We'll just do it the same here. We'll just replace this existing one. And that's all you need to do to convert it. Here's our download, here's our export. We will open it up in our slicer. I use Cura, it's free, it's easy to use. As you can see, since I didn't move it around, it's gonna be off. So another option you can, is you can manipulate it here. Well, you get the idea. So move it around till you get it on your print bed, and then it's ready to print. <laughs> video please comment if you have more suggestions or maybe if you want to see some other model design in 3d I would love to do that and share it on the YouTube channel peace